Vi ska titta nu på lite detaljer kring vattnet. We will now look at some details on the velocity of soil water and groundwater. I will discuss two concepts for velocity. One is the particle velocity, describing how fast a contamination or a perfect tracer is transported by the water flow. The other is the pressure propagation velocity, telling how fast a flow change at one location affects the water flow at another location. It tells, for instance, how rapidly the groundwater level responds to infiltration. I will show these velocities with a small sponge. I start by wetting the sponge thoroughly so that its water content comes close to field capacity. Water is infiltrated until dripping starts. Then I make a small tracer test. I have a bottle with water colored by food coloring. The colored water is now infiltrating into the soil. We can see how the outflow of water, we can call it percolation, starts immediately. But the color front reaches only a few centimeters. I add some more colored water. The particle velocity is the velocity of the red front. The pressure propagation velocity is how rapidly the outflow responds to the input. And it is very fast in this soil, being close to field capacity. When it comes to water flow in soil, one often discusses in which way the flow takes place. Are all pores taking part in the flow in the same way, or are certain pores making preferential flow paths in which water is bypassing water in other pores? It could be channels from earthworms or decayed roots. One talk about macropores having their flow system different from the smaller pores. In this soil, it's clear that the water particles move with about the same velocity. A red front is moving downward. No water particles are slipping past the others, which could have been the case in another soil under different conditions. Here the water is moving as piston flow. The red color, the tracer, will not reach the outlet until the whole water volume of the soil has been exchanged. It is not a perfectly distinct front of the color, but basically the first colored particles arrive simultaneously. And now dripping of red water has started, as you can see. It means that I have added as much water as was stored in the sponge. The new water has replaced the old water.